right, before I show you the finished product, there's a couple of things. First, we're going into the museum and I still haven't worked out the lighting, so just bear with me. What I have found out is who gave me this. It was Stina. Thank you, Stina. I love that shovel. And the other thing, the other thing is over here. Right, we've got the cafe and the bakery and Snickerdoodle and Cookie work in the cafe. And as you know, they have a flat upstairs where they spent their convalescence. And if we come up here, look, the interior design fairy has been here. This is the amazing work of Spiderweb Ninja. She is our interiors queen, I tell you, just amazing. We've got a state-of-the-art kitchen where the elves can make all sorts of things, amazing stews, pies, golden carrots. We won't ask what they're brewing. <laughs> Fairy elixir, I think, possibly. Elf elixir, whatever. Little table for the two of them with chairs. And, ooh, they've got a map of the place. I wonder what they're doing with that. Hmm, interesting. And we come through here into a little sitting room. Looks like they've got a widescreen television, not bad. <laughs> very, very comfy couch. Another little workspace. Oh, one of them's been making rockets. wonder which one that was. And if we come through here, of course she's worked her magic in here as well. It's gone from being two beds and tables and a sofa to being properly furnished, bookshelves, pictures, plants. It's gorgeous. I love this spiderweb ninja. It is beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, look at the curtains. Wow. She is so clever. There we are, two lots of Edwardian semi-detached homes. These are of much better quality than the terraces, even our little upgraded terraces. Rather more posh. I have not done the interiors yet. I haven't done the gardens, although as you can see, I've made a little start. We'll have a quick look in one of these, so at least you can see what I'm doing. I've just ground to a halt and run out of steam and oh all the usual things that plague me at the moment ah anyway they've all got decorative tiled footpaths leading in but let's go in the front door here we've got a little porch with a light this is the front hallway we come through to what will be a cupboard under the stairs. This will be a kitchen. I feel a bit like an estate agent showing you around. And when it's done, this can be your own palatial home. So this is a front room, little drawing room. And this will be a dining room. So rather more posh than our terraces over there. And up here, not one but two bedrooms. So out onto the landing, we've still got to put handrails in. Safety first. This is the master bedroom. And yeah, I've still got to do the attic space. There will be attic space. Good view out the bay windows. And this is the secondary bedroom. Got a little single bed in here and it looks out on the river and into the back garden. And speaking of back garden, we'll head down there. So down the stairs and into the servant section. Really have to put a floor in. That's the back of the house. I've shifted these windows from when I was building it in the time lapse. This makes more sense with the rooms that are inside, but I think it also looks better. Much more even spacing, much nicer. But, oh, we need a back gate. So there's going to be a spruce gate there. 
but these guys have got a garden shed with a secret. Do you remember that ravine I found? And I haven't quite finished exploring all the little side tunnels. Endermen. I hate Endermen. Anyway, access to the ravine through the garden shed. Ha! And we've got a little entrance into, well, exit from the gardens into the fields beyond. Ah! Who asked you? Go away. No. You're not allowed to do that. Go away. Right. I don't know if that was a scout or if there's more besides. But I think this back wall is the southern border of the town. I mean, if I was building this on a persistent world or on a private server, this would not be the border of the town. It would extend into this field, over those hills. It would be much bigger. But, you know, we've only got a few more months left. So, and I've still got a lot left to do. So that's the border of the town now on the south side. And I know I said I was going to do a church next and said I've done these. That's because where I was going to put the church, I realized the altar and transept would be facing in the wrong direction. And the couple of other locations I've thought of for it, I'm not 100% happy with. And I thought rather than rush something and maybe not be happy with it, I'll work on these because I knew about those and we'll leave the church till next time. So anyway, that's our Edwardian semi-detached houses. I know this was a quick one this time. It actually hasn't been quick building them. That has been hours and hours and hours of work. I will get the interiors done and the gardens done at some point. But in the meantime, while I'm working out where to put the church, there are end cards on the screen now to some more of my videos. Pop along to those. Have a look. Like and subscribe because it does help the channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.